guys, welcome back. So now here in this session, I'll explain another error. Uh, this is a pretty common error. Uh, while whenever you guys uh, do practice, most likely uh, these errors, this error appears. So and very simple solution is there. So look at here. The error is there is no item category assigned to account. There will be your GL account number. And apart from this, this is your chart of account code, right? So here what I'll do. I'll just make it like uh, this is your GL account number and then followed by your chart of account. So like that it will be there. Okay. This is the message number. This is how the error will appear. So uh, how to uh, what to say solve this error guys. I'll just show you whenever you post transaction no matter whichever transaction is there there I'll be so I'll choose here every 50 transaction code just give a date and uh, give your GL accounts your credit debit and amount you can specify press enter okay business area is required field, so it's okay I'll enter one business area here right so when I'm trying to save look at here at bottom this error has appeared a very simple solution is there it means the document splitting right document splitting functionality is active so you have to deactivate that go to spro and uh, if you want like two things are there one is temporary solution and second one is permanent solutions so uh, now so financial accounting new global setting Okay, then here you will be having uh, business transactions. Okay, again this becomes so. And here document is splitting. Now, so look at here, activate document is splitting. Okay, same thing will be there. Whether you are using ECC or S4 HANA, the same solution is there, guys. Now here, so document is splitting. This check checkbox is there. Here the checkbox you need to remove, right? But again, if somebody has like, if somebody is using this functionality again, uh, another user will activate this and again, you guys will be facing the issue. So first of all, uh, let me deactivate here. And there is one more option here, deactivation for company code. So what is the company code guys? It is UM01. So deactivation here, you can click on position UM01 that you need to you can apply a check mark here in active and then you can save it. Okay. Look at here. This is saved. Data is saved. Now, so if you apply a check mark here, then what will happen? Even later on, if somebody comes here and if somebody apply a check mark here, it's okay. I've applied a check mark. Look at here. Now it is saved. So this is activated. This activation is there at client level. Once it is activated, guys, this is activated for all company code, right? So activation is happening at client level, but look at here. We are having option. What options? DX deactivation per company code. It means it's okay. This is activated and every every company code will have like impact of this one. But if you want to exclude a particular company code, so your deactivation per company code, this option is there. So you can deactivate for your company code. So if you have deactivated for your company code, then what is happening? Even though at client level, if somebody has activated also, it won't be having any kind of impact, right? In the sense, it is not having any impact on your company code and easily you guys will be able to practice. And whenever you have to activate document splitting functionality, you can come here and again, you can remove the check mark. You, but before that, you have to perform the configurations related to document splitting uh, related configurations. And once it is done, you can remove the deactivation check mark and then you will be able to use it. So right now generally better don't don't do any what to say if you remove here. So as I said like this is a temporary solutions. So better to deactivate per company code. You click here and apply a check mark. First of all click on position give your company code apply a check mark and in that way what is happening guys. This is going to be a permanent solution until unless you want later on if you want to remove to uh, what you say uh, practice document splitting you can come back here and you can remove it and you can uh, you know perform the configurations and then testing for document splitting right so this is what the solutions here now let me do one thing press enter okay so uh, i'll have to refresh refresh in the sense once again fb50 we have to use right give this one and your zl account 
so uh, now it is going to work fine guys there won't be any issues here i'll just show you press enter okay uh, this business area once again i have to this is field related things right this field can be controlled also but anyway uh, now uh, you all know that field status variant is going to control this on posting key is also there right just save it now so look at here the document is posted right so this is what the simple solution 